It's also a very good skill to be able to convert from a nominal interest rate, or no, sorry, from an effective interest rate to a nominal interest rate, which goes like this. All that changes now, however, is that we have the effective interest rate, but we don't have the nominal. So we fill in whatever we can. So for number one, it's a compounded monthly question. So that'll be a 12 over here and a 12 over there. The effective interest rate has been given as 7%. That's 0 0.07. So how do we solve this? Well, we're trying to get to here eventually. So the first thing that needs to go is this. So what we can do is take the 12th root on the right hand side and so what we end up with then and 1 plus 0 0.07 is just that then what we can do is bring this one over to the right but don't put it under the square root because it's not part of the square root and so then what we have is this I know many students like to calculate each part separately but it's more room for error it just takes longer to be honest and then to get i num by itself, you take everything on the right hand side and you multiply it with 12 to get rid of this 12 over here. And so that's going to give you an i num value of, of 0 0.0678. But then remember to get a percentage, you must divide, I mean times by 100. And that's going to give us an i nominal amount of 6.78%. And so by the same way, we can go to number 2 where we don't know the nominal, but we know that it's compounded quarterly, so that's a 4 and a 4, and then the effective is 0 0.07. And then by the same way, you would go and calculate everything, and at the end, you'd get an answer of 6.82%. So a little trick or tip I would give you guys is that effective should always be slightly more than nominal. And then moving on to number 3, compounding semi-annually, so that's over 2, to the power of 2 equals to 1 plus 0 0.07. I'll quickly run through this one with you just in case some of you are struggling with the technique. So the first step is we need to get rid of this 2. So we take the square root on the right hand side and so that gives us 1 plus i nom over 2 equals to oh yeah we don't even need to write a 2 over there because by definition if there isn't a number written there then it is the square root with the, with a 2 like that. Next step would be to bring the plus 1, or well this one over here, to the other side, so it becomes a minus 1, but don't put it inside the square root. Then what we have is i norm over 2 equals to the square root of 1 plus 0, 1.07 minus 1. You then multiply the right hand side by 2. And then always remember to multiply your final answer by 100, because we're looking for a percentage, and you should get 6.88%. And the last one will be compounded daily. So we don't know what the nominal interest rate is. Daily, we'll use 365 and then 0 0.07. Then you can go work this out. So your first step would be to take the 365th root, just to get rid of that over there. Next step would be to take the 1 over to the right-hand side like that. And then to get i nom by itself, you multiply everything by 365. And then always remember when you're looking for a percentage, you must times by 100, so that's going to give you 6.77%.